be honest, these are unforeseen circumstances and something that farmers and ranchers could not plan for. From meat plant closures to restaurants shutting down, farmers are being forced to make tough decisions in response to this pandemic. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. The meat industry is projected to lose billions of dollars because of COVID-19. Today, WCI3's Jen Lask talked to experts about the options farmers are faced with. With processing plants slowing down production or shutting down altogether to fight COVID-19 outbreaks, Teresa Steckler says thousands of pigs and cattle have yet to be processed, creating a chain reaction. Increase in market prices at the store, decreased prices at the uh, sale barns because there's just no place for these cattle to go right at the moment. It's an issue lawmakers are trying to address in Washington. U.S. Senator Dick Durbin signed on to a bipartisan letter asking Congress to give the USDA more money for programs to help pork producers who may be forced to euthanize livestock. But Travis Mateer says it will take more than help from the USDA. I don't know if we're going to really rely on government uh, to solve this problem. Unfortunately, I think farmers have to be inventive and figure out solutions of their own. Last year, every county in Illinois was declared an agriculture disaster area because of flooding. And in many ways, it's been a one-two punch. I think farmers were looking for a normal year. Farmers have had to get creative as they've gone from plan A to plan B to plan C, and still they're finding ways to help their own neighbors. Been willing to pay for some processing to get more meat supplies in the food banks because we know families are struggling, and so um, keeping a high-quality source of protein in those food banks is, is really um, crucial for sure. So how can consumers give back in return? This is a great opportunity to reach out to a local farmer, your local butcher shop, your local meat bar blocker, and start to source some of this product locally. And as farmers push forward, Steckler wants to make sure they hear this message. If you are extremely stressed out, talk to people, converse with others that are going through the similar situation. And above all, know that you are not alone. Reporting, I'm Jen Lask, WCIA3, your local news leader. One of the plans hit hard by COVID-19 in central Illinois has been Rantoul Foods. There are now a total of 79 cases there. As of this weekend, 427 out of 700 employees had been tested. We have a